are these men called missionaries of the Sacred Heart? And what is their mission? How do they live out their charism and spirituality? What drives them to give up everything and follow Christ? I'm Boots Anson Noah, and I have known the missionaries of the Sacred Heart since the early 70s. Their mission takes them to rugged mountains, remote islands, and impoverished areas. Sometimes they have to walk for hours, cross rivers and seas, celebrate the sacraments among squatters, initiate formation programs and livelihood projects for the poor, all to fulfill their mission to be God's heart on earth. The Society of the Missionaries of the Sacred Heart was founded in 1854 at Isoudon, France by Father Jules Chevalier. The founder dedicated his life to spread devotion to the heart of Jesus as a remedy for the evils of his time. Father Jules particularly valued love and concern for the little ones. It was he who gave Mary the title, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. His motto expresses well his missionary spirit. May the sacred heart of Jesus be loved everywhere. Today, more than 2,000 missionaries of the sacred heart are present in more than 56 countries worldwide. The MUC is not the only congregation founded by Jules Chevalier. In 1874, he also founded the Daughters of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart with Sister Marie Louise Harcher as his co-founders. In 1900, with close uh, collaboration with Father Hubert Lincolns, he founded the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart in Germany. Together, these uh, three congregations uh, shared the same spirituality, and that is the spirituality of the heart. Kapag sinayin natin spirituality of the heart, Ang kabuuhan ng buhay natin ay nakatuon sa pagmamahal ng Diyos. Nakatuon sa pagbabahagi ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. Because we have experienced this, this love of God for us, then we have come to truly, truly believe in it. And that is the spirituality then. When we say spirituality, it encompasses the whole, uh, the whole of our lives. And therefore, the whole of our lives is permeated by this love of God. And therefore, whatever we do, we are inspired by, by this love of God. This is modern-day Surigao City. The first MSCs who came to the Philippines arrived here in 1908. All eight of them were from the Netherlands. Eventually, almost 180 other foreign MSCs came to do mission in the Philippines. The first MSCs arrived in Cebu on December 8, 1908, and in Surigao on December 12, 1908. But at that time, Surigao was part of the Diocese of Cebu. And the real needs of the Philippines, the Philippine Church at, at that time when MSC came in the first years was parishes. Especially because the supply of Spanish, Spanish priests uh, dried up, uh, so many parishes were, were empty. The early missionaries had to face a number of challenges, one of which was widespread poverty. It was a very poor mission, financially very poor. So that was the, the first thing, the poverty and then the distance. There were no roads at that time, so all, everything had to be done by boat. When the season is bad, you cannot go by boat, not at that time certainly. It was not rare for missionaries at that time to walk for hours or even days. Some of them traveled by horse. They had to learn new languages and get used to the climate, culture, and religiosity of the Filipino people. Ang kalisod sa kinabuhi, murag kiniwa balihan nila bas salamang ang gugma sa Diyos that the love of the heart of Jesus be loved everywhere. Murag Mauna siguro ang nakapadaasig yun kanila bisan sa kalisod sa uh, kinabuhi. Dako ang contribution nila, mao ang pagpalambu, pagpatubo sa pagtuo sa mga katauhan. 
pinaagi sa ilang mga katekismo. Kaya din ha, may mag, hindi lang katekismo, kundi li, sa mga Catholic schools. Aside from building schools throughout Surigao, the MSCs also established churches and parishes. They also initiated formation programs and livelihood projects for the poor. Soon, the MSCs undertook other missions outside Surigao. Since 1908 up to the present, the MSCs have served more than 70 parishes all over the Philippines. Kasagaran sa mga tao, mga mangisda. Kanya, simple lang ilang kinabuhi. Ang ako nga ni ako din hinaasahin. So, napig-uban ako sa ila. Tungod kay, simple rin man sabang akong kalipay. Mao nga, pag makita na ako ako mga parokyano, nga malipayon. Malipayon sab ko nga, mao alagad sa ila. In the past, the whole of Surigao del Norte and del Sur were under the pastoral care of the MSC. Today, only five parishes in the Surigao diocese are under MSC care. Taganaan, Bilang Bilang, Sison, Mainit, and Tubol. I'm going to go to the barrio, I'm going to go to the capilla, I'm going to go to the service, the wrangler, four wheels, Pero pag-abot sa kakapilya, tinahala niya masakay naging ko gabal-habal, kaya lisod man kayo, no? Hindi naman ko pwede nga ipa-abot dito ang four wheels sa sa kaguba kay sa dalan, lisod kayong dalan. So kinahala niya yun nga masakay naging ko gabal-habal. Kung wanto ko sa mga chapels, masakay ko sa pambot, service sa parokya, kauban ako ang Usahay na ay akong kauban nga convent boy. Usahay wala, kaya nag-iswila mo sa siya. Dili sa yon ang pagsakay sa balhabal, di sudyog gaayo, no? Panington yung gawag, uh, dagko nga singot, no? Bisan pa og ingon ni ini, apan tungkol sa itong dakong gugma, sa katawahan, no? Bisan o uh, sa itong pagsakripisyo, kay ingon ni ini atong gihimo, at tuhan atong mga kapilya, aron lamang pagserbisyo, pag-alagad, no? Paghalad usap og santos nga misa, uban sa mga tao, mga parokyano, apa na nindot kini kaayo alang kanako no kana ang MSC ang sa kung pag-ilan nila murag simple kayo ang ilan life anyway hibaw man kita ko nga missionary sila no missionary so ah uh, sa pagtan-aw nila nga they, they are more on going to the areas nga minus pang ilang pag-ila kaayo sa Ginoo as a pastor no sa parokya tan-aw jud nimo kung unsay may kahimtang sa imong parokya Para, para sa ako, naningkamo 